Outside the Book continues from the 2015 Southern Kentucky Book Fest. I'm Barbara Deeb. Joined now by T.J. Turner. And if you've tuned into anything, you've heard something about Abraham Lincoln. And of course, we're in Kentucky, you know, land of Lincoln, uh, Illinois and Kentucky. You wrote something called Lincoln's Bodyguard because what, from what I understand, you're fascinated with tipping points. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So I'm, I'm really fascinating these, uh, what I call tipping points in history. So things that uh, could have gone very differently. So maybe it's just uh, one incident or what one person has done that changes the course of history as we know it. So, and one it, of the big ones in American it, history is I'd say, Abraham yes. Lincoln, of course. Shouldn't have gone to the theater that night, Absolutely. Abraham. Or if, uh, or if he had had a bodyguard, a real bodyguard that night, what, what could have been different? So. so is it more then about if the bodyguard had been there and then what could have happened? Talked about that. Sure, so it, it's, uh, it's obviously an alternate historical and it's uh, told from the perspective of the bodyguard who saves Lincoln that night. Um, it takes history off course for about seven years and then puts it back on course that we know. And it, it deals with what could have been if Lincoln had, uh, had lived. So there's there's lots of postulations about uh, if he had uh, if he had lived that Reconstruction would have gone easier and the South would have recovered faster. But some historians have also uh, put forth the, the notion that he he probably might have had to die almost as a safe face saving measure for the South to to finally surrender and then uh, come to terms with uh, with the end of the Civil War. So he's sort of the the last martyr and and it's one of those to me one of those great injustices of American history that he didn't get to see this nation put back together that he fought so hard to help keep the Union together. So Now you're an Ohioan but you chose to write about Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. There are many tipping points in history. Why Lincoln? Uh, yeah, so it's, that's actually a funny story. I was, uh, I was marketing a different novel. I was, I was trying to find representation for it and uh, struggling to do that and then uh, I was driving home one night and listening to NPR and Terry Thank Gross you. was on with, uh, with Fresh Air, and uh, she, had, she had a guest on, and they were talking about the assassination of Lincoln, and she said something to the effect of, wouldn't it have been great if he had had a bodyguard? And the, the title, Lincoln's Bodyguard, just kind of stuck in my head, and the rest of the drive home, I was starting to plot out what that would be, who this, who this person might have been, and, and then what could have been different, and then I started doing research from there, and it just seemed like a nice, compelling story to, to change history. Uh, a really dramatic point in American history to begin with, so it's kind of fun to turn the tables on a little bit. Well, many of us like to be in the armchair and just kind of speculate mm. as to what if, what Absolutely. could have been different. So so how do you take that, that something that mm -hmm. we as readers, as viewers, as listeners love, that what if? How do you take that and then elaborate on that? It's, uh, it's a lot of research. So it's, um, you know, I've got friends who write uh, fantasy or science fiction and they have to do all this world building. I, I kind of cheat because I've got the worlds already built for me. It's, it's what we know as our history. So you've got to constrain the story to fit in that. But then taking with an alternate historical, you've got to look for things that make sense of how it really could have played out. And so there's, there's a lot of, lot of uh, research that goes into trying to figure out you know, what was plausible and what, what might have happened. So you mentioned the fact that you know, there are those who say, maybe some detractors that say Abraham Lincoln probably needed to be gone to have history go as mm -hmm. it did. What's your opinion of that? I, I think that that's. I think there's a, a strong case to be made there. He, he even he was a fatalist himself, so he prophesized his own his own death, and and uh, he believed that it, it might happen. He even had dreams that he related to uh, to close associates, and they seem to have played out pretty well. Um, in the book, I, I kind of go for it. So if if Lincoln had had not had lived. The, uh, the surrender may not have gone quite as easily. There were still several Confederate armies in play, and General Joe Johnston was, uh, was still, still at the fight with Sherman. And uh, on their very first meeting between Johnston and Sherman, Sherman handed him a telegraph that showed that Lincoln had died. And Johnston had orders to, to continue the fight as, a, as an insurgent warfare, something like we've seen in Iraq and Afghanistan. Sure. So he, he very well might have done that had he not received that telegram and, and realized that the North had their martyr. And it, it could have been a very different nation. That's kind of what I explore. The, the old adage of what if. We've been talking with author T.J. Turner about Lincoln's Bodyguard, a story about tipping points in history. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.